good seeing you too. Remember the sick and the shut in, and um, remember my family and my children. Yeah. Um, remember Sister Monique, she's probably not going to be here. Some of her children are going through some little bugs, so just pray for the children. Yeah. <laughs>
Christmas is nigh and coming, and the Lord wants us to talk about uh, Jesus. <laughs> Isn't that a good subject? Yeah. 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 Talk about Jesus and uh, the birth of Jesus mm -hmm. and the significance of this birth <laughs> and what that means to us. Amen? Because we can get uh, caught up in, in materialistic things, but those of us that have uh, matured and to see through uh, a lot of things and come to an understanding of what's important. Amen. When you walk with God, God, God always leads you to what's important. Uh, no matter how old or young you are, God focuses in on the important thing. What is the, uh, the meat of the matter? Mm -hmm. And there's a scripture that says, in all thy giving, get what? Understanding. Understanding. Amen. Mm -hmm. So as we uh, look at the book of St. Matthew, uh, chapter number two, and we want to start out with verse number one. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Now, as the scripture is beginning uh, here, we see that Jesus had already been born. Uh, according to the scriptures, that he would be born in Bethlehem of Judea. And so, therefore, we already know that the angel of the Lord had already come and visited uh, with Mary and also Joseph, you know, to encourage him to marry uh, Mary because uh, she was starting to show <laughs> and he was engaged and he was thinking something's wrong and he thought on how to put her away privately. But the angel of the Lord visited him and told him, Joseph, don't be afraid to take unto thee Mary to be thy wife child that is going to be born of her is of the Holy Ghost. Right. Truly an immaculate inception. Right. Right. And then the angel of the Lord visited with Mary. God has ordered. Uh, he has ordered. He visited with Mary and told uh, Mary, the angel of the Lord, Gabriel, told Mary that she is highly favored of God. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, God was going to bless her to have a child. And she said, well, how can these things be seen by what? I know I'm a man. Huh? Thank you, Lord. And the angel didn't get upset with her, but the angel told her, the Holy Ghost huh, shall overshadow thee, and the holy thing that is born of thee shall be of God. Amen? Amen. And, and what, the reason why we're um, explaining that is because uh, of Jesus, you know, in, in his nature. You know, he was born in, in flesh, but he also had the nature of God. Yes. Right. Amen? Yes. God was in Christ, mm -hmm. reconciling the world back unto our himself. Yes. Right. Amen? So Jesus was born whole. Huh? And he was born without sin. And there's reasons why he was born holy and without <laughs> sin so that he can be a perfect sacrifice for you and I. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. And it was necessary. It was necessary that one should die for us all because sin entered into the world through Adam. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that sin passed on to you and I. That sinful nature. Even though we haven't Eight of the, free, of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, that nature of sin was passed on to us. Mm -hmm. uh, and we manifest that nature of sin. Yeah. Uh, and, and when we receive Christ, when we receive Him, we also uh, receive the Holy Ghost, which also has God's divine nature within us. We call it the fruit of the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Which is in us to help us to live whole. Yeah, Amen. 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 And because Christ died and gave his life for you and I, the perfect sacrifice, now God, the Bible calls him the book of Hebrews, is a propitiation, 
of our sins or, or the propitiation means the sacrifice that God accepts. Amen. Uh, he accepted no other sacrifice to completely remove sin. Uh, the, the other sacrifices that were put forth, they didn't remove sin. Uh, they just covered it over. Uh, and the people had a conscience and a reminder uh, they were still in that state. But Jesus being the perfect sacrifice. Hallelujah. Uh, not the sacrifice of bulls and uh, goats and heifers, but his, his sacrifice, it removed. Yeah. Amen. It took it away. That's why in the book of Romans, in the first chapter, uh, uh, of the eighth chapter of Romans, the ch first number one, it says, There is therefore what? Now, no condemnation to them that are left. In Christ Jesus, who walked not after the flesh, but what? After the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. So, so, so when we got into Christ, we became new creatures. Uh, all things what? Passed away, and behold, all things have become what? New. Now, uh, we can think in our minds, well, Pastor, I know all that. You know what? But people, uh, and sometimes, uh, allow these things to slip, mm -hmm. uh, especially when you're going through. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you don't feel like you're redeemed. Mm -hmm. uh, but does that mean that you're not redeemed? No. <laughs> sometimes you don't feel like God is concerned and is thinking about you. Uh, but does that mean he's not thinking or not concerned about you? Uh, no, no. God is always thinking about us. For the scripture says, God so loved the world. Uh, that he did what? He gave his only begotten son. That whosoever does what? Believe. Believe. All he had to do is keep believing in him. Uh, and he shall not perish. And that word perish means to be eternally separated from God. Amen? Amen. Now, read that verse again. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, uh -huh. in the days of Herod the king, we in uh, Matthew chapter 2, verse 1. Now, when Jesus was born, he's already born now, read. And where was he born? In Bethlehem of Judea. In Bethlehem of Judea. In the days of Herod the king, uh -huh. behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. All right, so, 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 uh, Jesus was born in the days notice of Herod the king. Amen. Now Herod the king, he was a truly a wicked king. He didn't rise to power in a good way. He rose to power in a, how can you say, in a ruthless way. Uh, and so, so when you rise to power in a ruthless way, you always feel threatened. Yeah. Amen? That's why it's, it's good, you know, to, to be a, a, a honest and just individual. Yeah. Right. Amen? Because if you're wicked, you always got to look behind your back. Yeah. Uh, and you, know, you always got to wonder, uh, like uh, 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 Caesar got stabbed, Julius Caesar got stabbed by one of his confidants, <laughs> one of his friends. Uh, uh, Brutus. Uh, and to Brutus, you too. <laughs> All the other senators stabbed me. Uh, but, but you too, uh, thank you Lord, and his familiar friend, so to speak, yeah. lifted up his heel against him. Yeah. That's why, you know, it's good to be honest. Uh, it's good to be just. It's good to be fair. Uh, and let God fight your battle. Let God be your protector. Amen. Amen. Uh, Herod the king, he, he was a ruthless individual. Uh, and he was always uh, uh, feeling threatened, wherein even his own family members, he had them killed. Uh, if he thought, uh, just thought, uh, that they were trying to take his place. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. All right. So we see here, so, so, so we see here, he, he was born in the days of Herod the king, and notice, there came uh, uh, wise men from the east to Jerusalem, uh, and these wise men were called Magi, and the word Magi means uh, musicians, musicians, amen, and then at that time, it was honorable. Uh, and it doesn't have the same meaning 
that we have today when we think of magicians. We think of uh, uh, people who conjure up spells and, and things such as that. But they call those people uh, magicians. I can't say that word right now. Y'all forget it. Amen. Uh, but they called them that because they were astrologers. They watched the star. They were prophets. Uh, and, and they were philosophers. Uh, that's what they use that word to call that word uh, magicians, those type of people. So it was honorable to be called that. Amen? And these people uh, were literally, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself in the scriptures, but they, 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 uh, they were studiers of all things. Amen? And they were studiers of the word of God, the prophecies and the prophets. Amen? Amen? And there was one prophecy uh, that was put out that they were to arise a star of David. Amen? Amen? And then from that star, it would manifest the Messiah of the King. Amen? Amen. And they were looking for the Messiah. Yeah. They were looking for the King. Uh, and even <coughs> on today, uh, and though Jesus has come, Amen? He died. He gave his life for you and I. But he's coming back. Yes. Amen. We ought to be looking for him. Yes. Uh, and we ought to be paying attention to the signs of his coming. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, and we ought to be paying attention to when the Lord is returning. And not be like the, the five foolish virgins, but be like the five wise virgins, ready and prepared for the coming of the Lord. Because he's coming. Amen. Amen. The Bible says he's coming as a thief in the night. But these wise men, they came from the east. All right. Verse number two, what does it say? Saying, uh -huh. where is he that is born king of the Jews? Where is he that is born king of the Jews? Amen. Now, the reason why they said that was uh, they were they were studiers of the scriptures, amen. Uh, and we ought to also be studiers of the scriptures. The Bible says, and we know it. We can quote it: "Studying so thyself approved unto God, a workman that what needeth not to be ashamed, doing what rightly dividing the word of truth." And and there's benefits. When you study the scripture, when you study the word of God, part of the scripture and the promise of God is, I will keep thee in perfect what? Peace with mine is what? Stay on me. When you study the word of God, you get a peace uh, that passes all understanding uh, that, that you don't normally have when you don't study the word of God. When you study the word of God, you increase in confidence. Yeah. Uh, the word of God can increase your confidence, yeah. your boldness. Amen. And it gives you, it gives you a, a, an assurance. Yeah. Amen. Uh, it, it increases your hope, yeah. your expectation. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. And then when you study the word of God, it also increases your faith. Yeah. Uh, faith. 
to die. Yeah. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. Thank you, Jesus. If you, if you get into the news today and listen to what's going on in this world, you can, you can get all depressed, oppressed, have a panic attack, go to the
the Jews. Now, 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 the scripture said, and it talked about a king being born. Right? Thank right. you, Lord. And we can see then why this would threaten Herod. Uh, because he was already ruthless. He's already killed family members who he fought uh, for trying to overtake him. Right. Amen? And, and now they're coming to him. These magi are coming to him and saying that there is one that is preferred before him. Uh, uh, that, is, that is being born. Yes. Uh, uh, so you know that that started up. Uh, and, and just think about it. He's already the king. Now that there's somebody that's being born, this really going to take my life. Uh. Amen. So, so jealousy, uh, uh, envy, yeah. uh, anger, yeah. malice, and wrath. Yeah. Uh, all of the uh, was was well. Amen? And, and the scripture says that those things can't be in your heart uh, except that you must manifest, made known. And y'all know the story uh, that, that he eventually uh, had babies killed uh, because of his desire. Uh, that there was weeping and crying and Rachel waiting for her children. Why? Because it was all jealousy. Because of his own uh, 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 insecurity. In there, that's that word. Insecurity. And then we got to watch it. Yeah. Uh, watch, watch it. If you got any jealousy in you, watch it. Mm -hmm. uh, if you got any insecurity in you, uh, don't ignore it. Yeah. Uh, that's what the scripture means when it says all things work together for your good. Yeah. Uh, if, 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 if it's revealed in you that you got a little bit of that going on, uh, that's for your good. Not to hold on to it, but to get rid of it. Uh, because if you don't get rid of it, it'll matter. Yeah. Am I right? How many do you feel? The Jews were just ordinary people. Mm. They were uh, people who stood out because they yeah. were God's chosen people. Yeah. And, um, you, know, uh, they, you know, to be ruled over them, was a big thing, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and uh, naturally, you know, he felt inferior to be ruler of God's people. Yeah. And, 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 and like so many uh, people are today and stuff like that, they're in positions that they shouldn't be in. If someone come in that they see has knowledge and, and, and all the attributes that they don't have, mm -hmm. they would feel threatened as well. Absolutely, you're not, you're not mature. Uh, you're not secure. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, now, if you're a uh, mature, secure leader, you'll say, Oh, here's someone that can help me. Right. right. Now, you'll see some you say, Oh, here's someone that can promote the call. You can learn something. Uh, learn something from right. Amen. Right. That's a wise thing. Thank you, Lord. Uh, now, but Herod was not that, he was a tyrant. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Uh, watch out for tyrants. Uh, watch out for uh, uh, mini Napoleons. My <laughs> God. Right. Uh, watch out for those people. Amen. Uh, because they're, that spirit is still in the atmosphere. Amen. Watch. Watch and pray. Amen. Uh, so we see here then. We see here. Read that verse 2 again. Say, where is he that is born king of the Jews? Now, he can feel about an excellent. Mm -hmm. The Jews were God's chosen people. <coughs> they were peculiar. Yes. Uh, all of and and they, they knew from the scriptures because Moses said mm -hmm. uh, that God was going to raise up a prophet. Uh, I don't hear. He said, give him what you hear. Amen. And, and, and then, you know, uh, uh, the scripture, Daniel, talks about a governor. Amen. Uh, the scripture, Isaiah, says, unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Uh, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. Amen. Amen. Uh, so the scriptures bear it out. Uh, and and, and uh, 
Unto us a child is given. Unto us a son is what? Born. Amen. And that lets you know that he was a child when he came in. Uh, but but he was, he's also a son. Uh, in other words, and it gives you a connotation. He grew up. Uh, and he did the will of the Father. Yeah. Uh, thank you for that. And, and what's good about our tests and our trials and, and, and learning from them, Jesus was the perfect example. The Bible says he learned obedience through what? Amen. Yeah. So, so, so when you're suffering things, uh, learn obedience from them. Mm -hmm. uh, Turn your heart to God and say, God, what are you showing me? Uh, what's going on? You know, the worst thing we can do, thank you, Lord, is to ignore pain. Uh, pain is a messenger. Uh, it sends you a message. Am I right? Uh, and if you ignore it, uh, you, you, can, you can destroy yourself. But if you listen to the message, uh, and, and make the necessary correction, you'll be better. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, we, and, and, and we do, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this for free. Thank you, Lord, because we got some leaders in here. Thank you, Lord, that, 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 you know, as a leader, you know, you're trying to move some of all, <laughs> you're trying uh, 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 to preach, to teach, to help other people. You gotta have some pain. Huh? You gotta go through some travail. Amen? Huh? There's gonna be some trouble. Huh? No matter how good you are at what you do, there's gonna be some trouble. Why? Huh? Because God is ordained. Huh? When he told Eve that she was going to bring forth a child, huh? and in sorrow was she going to birth that child. Sit down and think about it. Let's go. 
force you to seek God. Yeah. And like the wise men, <laughs> they had to seek out the Son of God. Yeah. Which is what actually made them wise because they had sense enough to, to, to see the word and seek out the Son of God. That's what made them the wise men. Yes. Absolutely. Isn't that, isn't that a sign of being wise? <laughs> uh, seeking out the Lord. Uh, why do they be wise? Calling on Him. Why is He here? Am I right? Yeah. Uh, we wouldn't have came to Jesus unless we had a struggle. Yeah. Uh, unless we experienced pain. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, we wouldn't have called Him. <laughs> you know, I noticed uh, when I watch college football, they play very, uh, you know, determined. Yes. They fall, they get back up. But when they get into the NFL and start making all that money, they, they hurt their little pinky. They want to take two weeks off. You know, uh, <laughs> it, it, people rather have pleasure than pain. And, 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 and this generation, anything that creates a strain or, or requires you know, pain or whatever, they don't want to do it. You gotta get our minds about it. That, that is working. Uh, it's working for our good. Amen. 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 If, 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 if it manifests the purpose of God's plan in your life. Yes. If, in other words, I'm gonna say it this way it's a part of your salvation. Mm. Amen. He said, if you don't suffer with me, you won't what? Right. Rain with me. <laughs> Hallelujah. And we can't look at it as being an enemy. Uh, we got to look at it as, oh, what, God, what are you trying to show me? Uh, God, what, what do I have to change? Hey, you're doing it wrong. Uh, you follow me? Yeah. They were in tune with God. They were in tune with Him. 
long as you're in tune with God, he can lead and guide you. <laughs> And I like, I like what he said. You know, uh, they weren't baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost, uh, but God, they were in tune with him. But they didn't have in tune with him. They were seekers of him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, I was just going to add, that, and it, they didn't find him that night. It took years. Thank you, Jesus. It took years. My God. My God. <laughs> So no. then, shall, then shall you know if you follow on. Follow on to know the Lord. Go to Numbers. Numbers chapter 24 and verse 17. This is the scripture that we're reading. Yeah, 24 and 17. I shall see him, uh -huh. but not now. Uh -huh. I shall behold him, mm -hmm. but not now. Yeah. There shall come a star out of Jacob, uh -huh. and a scepter shall, shall rise out of Israel. Now, that's, that's, what they were, that's the scripture that they were facing their faith on. Amen? No. It said, there shall come a star out of Jacob. Jacob is a reference to who? Israel. Israel. Amen. So they knew where, 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 where God's people were. Israel. Amen. No, then. What does it say? And the scepter shall rise out of Israel. What? What's a scepter? A staff. A staff that belongs to who? A king. A king. Amen. So they knew that the star would arise that will lead them to Israel where there would be a king. Mm -hmm. Amen?
Yeah. 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 You know, and that's how he can exalt you. He counts, yeah. You walk humbly before him. Yeah. And he'll be the one to exalt you. Man. Yeah. But a lot of times we come in full of pride and we can't be helped. Amen. Why? Because pride stands in the way. Right. Amen. God says he resists the pride. That's right. But he gives what? Grace, Grace, Grace to the humble. And that's scripture <laughs> in the book of uh, Philippians, chapter number two, where it says, Let this mind be in you, which was what? Also in Christ Jesus. No, who being in the form of God. Amen? Meaning that, that he had the essence of God. Yeah. Huh? Huh? But, he, but, but being found as a fashion of a man, he did what? He humbled himself. Right. Amen? In other words, he had glory uh, before this whole world began. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jesus pre-existed with the Father. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, but he, 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 uh, what's the word I want to use? He, he emptied himself. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, to, to become like you and I. Yeah, uh, look at that. He, he, he emptied himself of all that glory, uh, all that honor, yeah. all that power, all that majesty. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and, and became like you and I. Yeah. How about himself? Yeah. Uh, uh, in the style of the fashion of man. Mm -hmm. Am I right?
Would you just wave your hand? You know, he know everything. So, you know, that's, that's when you learn really how to just depend on him. Ain't that a good place to be? Excellent. Huh? Totally dependent upon God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Totally resting in him. Uh, yeah. Huh? You in trouble you just looking for God to get you out. Yeah. Hmm. Why are you so calm? I'm waiting for God. I know it's coming. Huh? He gonna be gonna bring me out. Yeah. Uh, let not your heart be troubled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. What? Of the spirit 
was just thinking about somebody else's testimony, how um, the Lord blessed them to have someone pay all their bills and stuff, and they left one bill out. <laughs> and he said, cast all your cares upon me. <laughs> now, you want to hold back some? <laughs> That's your problem. You need to give it all up. <laughs>
so that good can come about. Huh? You show mercy. Say faith. Hey! Faith is good. Yeah. You can have faith. You can have faith in wicked things. Yeah. Hope is good, but you can hope somebody dropped dead. You can hope for bad things. But love, love worketh no ill. Yeah. Love. If you read about what love is, that's why love is the greatest. Everything should be motivated by love. On your analogy, <laughs> <laughs> you need to love everything. That's uh, true. Uh, uh, <laughs> but you gotta, you gotta have faith in the right thing. Yes. Right. You gotta have hope in the right yeah. And you gotta love the right thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's why what I love about love is, love is it's changing. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is fluctuates. Yeah. In this sense, we should be happy because we can love the wrong thing. Yeah, that's right. Huh? We just got to detach ourselves from it. That's true. Go through the, uh, the, suck, the pain of celebration yeah. <laughs> and start loving the right thing. That is good. Yeah, that's right. Huh? Right? God oh. uses positive and negative. It could be. Positive. Yeah, and he, and you, you, it's good to be a positive person, but sometimes you're going to have negative things that come in your life. Yeah. they working for good, too. Yeah. They're working all, it all works for your good. All works. Mm -hmm. uh, and all that is manifest. Uh, how can I say it? It's polishing that which God has put in you. It's purifying. Mm -hmm. uh, it's taking you through. Alright? We be troubled on every side. Huh? But not in this state. Huh? Persecuted, but not destroyed. Cast down, but not destroyed. Huh? Perplexed, but <coughs> not destroyed. Huh? Yeah. There you go. Don't we go through a lot? Yeah. We go through a lot. Yeah. We, we are built to go through a lot. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. It's almost like that. Uh, Silversmith. He he puts that silver and the gold in there and he keeps it gets so hot and he keeps skimming the top of it off. Yeah. That's an impurity. And it yeah. And he just keeps skimming the top. That's how God does us. He, does he, he, he puts that test to you or that struggle, whatever. He knows that's gonna help you. He and he keeps skimming it off. The, yeah. And the better you get in that test, the, the more you trust in him, he just skims some more mm -hmm. off the top. And we just have to go through the skin. And, and when you have that as your mindset, when you're in it, you are better. Uh, it doesn't take a toll on you. It doesn't work on your nerves. Uh, doesn't give you the anxiety, the fear. Uh, you're going through it. But you're going through it with the right mindset. Makes the world a difference. Y'all with me? Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. 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 Try. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Thank you. But you have to have had already <laughs> a good relationship with God. Yeah, yeah, Lord. And you have to have built a good foundation. Thank you. And your roots have to go deep. Thank you. And that's what that whole process is about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Strengthening your relationship. Yeah. Making you a deeper person mm -hmm. in God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Is that what repentance does? Oh, yeah. Okay. It, 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 when you yeah. repent, you're acknowledging mm -hmm. that, Lord, I'm not going in the right way oh, that you yeah. want me to go. Yeah. And, and it's a way of keeping your relationship close to God. Yeah. I wish you would give me a message one day to preach it. The power of repentance. Yeah. 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 This is power of repentance. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, thank you. Don't, don't discount repentance. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's not a weak thing. No. Uh, anytime you can turn to God, uh, 